Greenblood, my friend. Glad to see you. I'd like to talk to you about something. I'm listening. Remember that note we found in Rolf's office? Of course. The one that said the recruits had been sent to different governors? Yes. It was signed with a name I'm familiar with. Herman. Somebody I'd hoped never to cross paths with again. He was the one who founded the camp we closed. And believe me, he has done an incredible amount of damage to the guard. I'm gonna find him and make him pay for what he's done. I know that he's in San Mateus. This quest for revenge isn't only about what happened to Rainer and the others, is it? Very well. You can count on me. What do you plan to do? Major Herman is posted in San Mateus. He's part of the Red Sun Regiment now. He's loyal to Torsten, but kept his head down when the coup was dismantled. Isn't denouncing him enough? He'll be put to death for high treason. The guard's reputation has suffered enough from Torsten's scheming. And he has connections in high places. I'm sure he has many supporters. What are you getting at? Are you going to kill him yourself? If he's well connected, the Mother Cardinal will surely hear about it, and I doubt she'd be pleased. I know. That's the whole problem. We need to get rid of him without anyone finding out. If Petrus were here, he would probably tell us to do the exact opposite. That old fox is as sly as ever. But I don't see what you're getting at. There's a group in San Mateus that could make someone disappear in broad daylight, without anyone saying anything about it. Those mad inquisitors. Exactly. It might not be easy to convince our good friend Aloysius, but it's worth a try. You're right. And if we bring Petrus, he will surely help us sway the Inquisitor. I must say, this is a horrid solution. But if anyone deserves it, it's that bastard Herman. We'll need to find him, though. And he's been keeping a low profile since the coup failed. And we've already seen to what extent the law of silence has on the guard. We need help. Our new commander might be able to tell us who to turn to. She knows everybody. All right, then. Agreed. Let's start by going to see her. You are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. 
Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus? Is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their... priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps, although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burt tir du mad renaikse. Oi and the donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But. It is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what... Qua Awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Tear to mud on all Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. What do you seek? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything, and that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect. All that surrounds us, and that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, I oh, have heard this question before. You sound like the Mind Shaker woman. The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoixe. Anything more? Concerning this story about a cult... Enough! Enough questions! I have nothing more to say.
Leave me be. Even your thoughts are loud and break my feet. Can't you leave us alone, Monis and I? Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. You have a strange stare, Anaixe. Leave me alone. Ernaixe ya toigan quahesa de elodeis, Samer Mila, mach de wegander. Birtir to mud, Anal Manawi. What do you want? You're different from the others. What is your role in the village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others. When we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead, in the rain that quenches us and drowns us, in the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong, said that nature was just nature and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods or cross paths with wild beasts. This question will seem strange to you, but do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Go away, Renaixe. You are not welcome in my home. Beer to Madre Naixe. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? 
I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gekane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. This is a delicate question, but would you know anything about a demon? A demon? I think that that is what the bright and shiny mind shakers call the spirits, no? There are spirits everywhere. In you, and in us, in each tree, in each spring. There is not only one. I could not tell you more if you are not more precise in what you seek. Let's try something else. Are you on all Manawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. The Moine Shakers came here to our home and tried to convince us to abandon our ways. No one wanted to listen to them, so they finally decided to leave. I suppose that they were full of disappointment, or angry, or simply tired. And then the others arrived. The woman is truly strange. She is aggressive and spies on us at every turn. I would prefer that she lives as well. It was fun. More than with a woman who makes light. She did not want to play. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Hmm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. I wonder if that eccentric young lady could help us. She seems to like you. Or, of course, we could create a diversion by breaking some of these pots. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to work fast and it will only work once. Worshipping some dark creature. I will admit that it's rather ghastly, but I'm almost certain that the warriors of this island wear these things in battle. This altar is incredibly morbid. 
I wonder what sort of spirit can be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult, far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. This painting is frightening, evoking war, a massacre, a bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Alicia. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he won't lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. Here we could hide and wait. We would be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. Wake up, Greenblood. He's here. Could our man have gone? These strange roots are forming some kind of door. This must be where he went.
My child, you are very pale. As if you just saw something terrible. That's precisely what has happened. For a brief moment, I was this tree. This is truly some strange sorcery. What exactly did you see? Perhaps it is some sort of key. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots, and at the very heart of my being I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots, then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent? I must have lit the candle. Maybe a Move away! Things are about. The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm so The drawing on this stone resembles a symbol that must represent the earth. I must have lit the candle. Yeah. Maybe a Oh, my child, you need healing. This island really is full of surprises and mysteries. This weird puzzle actually opened the door. Los duis atu deliam canade dole, tadulan vrandi, alaun eles agen ole vei. Clos i garamam i telami ol flinau ich egrem, clos i gedem ta yentis ol arabini a ol slei.
Vanqua Sakengadem Fradema Digala Linkwid Winter Bolso Galansani Togombenis Gremos Nigawi Renkasie Krimadurem de Nagao Edent Los Duis Aruyet Nes Diri Lois de Raman Ades Gideon Arenta Esparnu Fradi Damagengadan Yadiga La Dandian Esparnu Fradi Dawe Gaishudan Ag Esparnu Fradi Dawe Gremos Anabui There is no longer any doubt. The creature who was talking through this tree is a demon. In any case, Teleme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Denegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Deirdre. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. I am not from Teleme. I cast no judgment upon your beliefs. But if you want us to help you, you need to help us understand. I doubt that you would be able to understand, but very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Ranoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion. But if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come. Though what you will hear may not be to your liking.